Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will be talking about the top 10 best practices for writing front-end applications. These are must-know for senior developers, juniors or somebody who is just getting started into the front-end development. I'm sure at the end of this tutorial, there will be a good amount of takeaways that you can start implementing in your projects right away. Without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. A quick word uh, on the front end best practices guide before we start with the actual list. So these are very crucial, uh, especially in terms of building a modern web applications. So integrating these best practices across different categories like security, responsive design, code organization, accessibility, and many more. These best practices will help you create a solid, scalable, reliable applications. These are crucial also from various standpoints in terms of when you're building specially enterprise software. That being said, let's get started with the list. The first and the foremost is the responsive design. One of the most important aspects of front-end development is creating a mobile first based responsive design applications. The number of mobile users that will be using, especially if it's a D2C or consumer website, chances are that you will have a large amount of audience who will be using it on a mobile. Using CSS media queries, breakpoints, flexible layout techniques like grids, flexbox will help you achieve that responsive design which can adapt and fit into different screen sizes. Here are the important tips for implementing responsive design. Always prefer using fluid layouts, not fixed. Use media queries to optimize for each devices. When you are doing responsive design, make sure that you test on various devices, including responsive devices using text tags like browser stack or say Sauce Labs. They have different tools which can help you test on 200 plus devices. So that's the most important best practice that you would do for front end applications, which is responsive design. The second is accessibility. Without this, you chances are that you will not get a sign off from QA or the security team, especially if you're working for an enterprise customer. Accessibility is a critical aspect because it involves supporting and using techniques which will help uh, the differently able people use the website or the app. Now these includes like providing alt text for images, using proper color contrast schemes, keyboard accessibility, semantic HTML, etc. Some of the tips for ensuring accessibility are use alt text for images, use semantic HTML, use tags like header, footer, section, article. These are also meaningful and also will help you with SEO. Use ARIA attributes. Now these are nothing but it will help you in assistive technology and screen readers. So these are the three important takeaways for you from accessibility perspective. The third is performance optimization. Writing for when you're developing front end applications, it's important to keep performance in mind since you don't want your website to be slow or lead to high bounce rate. And hence some of the techniques like minification, compression of JS, CSS, uh, lazy loading of content, image optimization can help you improve the website. So next time when you talk about performance of front-end applications, use these tips. Optimize images, use caching mechanism so that you the server improve the load times of the data. Minimize the HTTP request, do the number of processing, etc. in the UI if you can, but that way you can reduce the number of HTTP request. Implement lazy loading is nothing but delaying of non-critical resources until they are required in the page. Right? Very effective technique in terms of speeding up the processes. Consistency. Now when you do when you develop front-end applications, it's important to make sure that you have a correct typography, uh, your framework supports the color schemes, navigation, etc. These will help you your website look professional also it's easy to interact with so hence whenever we talk about front-end development consistency is your best friend code organization a lot of times when you start developing over a period of time the code can become messy if it's not arranged into logical components 
you can use modular CSS approach. You can separate out HTML, CSS, JavaScript into separate files. So that way there is segregation of data and also it's easy to maintain, test, scale and refactor. Write clean and maintainable code. Again, this is um, a subjective topic, but writing clean code is something that we all want to achieve at the end of the day. Right. Some of the techniques that you can use for writing clean and maintainable code are use descriptive variables and function names. Right. Your function names, variable names should be very descriptive, meaningful and follow a standard coding pra practice. Insert and use comments wherever you require. Again, I keep insisting that you don't have to use uh, comments for every single line of code, but Use it in generic way in a sense wherever you have a complex decision making kind of a code throw in a comment to it will help your reviewer also to understand why something was done in a certain way. Keep the code modular separate out HTML CSS JavaScript. There are many frameworks that allows us in front end as well. Uh, some of them includes handlebars etc which can be effectively used. Test your code. Now front end code cannot be tested is something that um, is a wrong misconception, especially if it's a JavaScript or say if it's um, running in browser stack or sauce labs. So you can test on various devices, right? That's number one. You can conduct user testing. You can also automate end to end development using tools like Cypress. Uh, so don't ignore the testing piece just because it's front end and runs on client side doesn't mean that it cannot be tested or it should not be tested. Throw in frameworks like Cypress which can do end to end testing of your complete UI. That way it will give you confidence in your end to end functionality of the script project. Browser compatibility. Now this is something that should be inbuilt into the code right from day one. We have to make sure that the the project works, the, the our application works in every browser uniformly, consistently and without any uh, compatibility issues. So making sure that it works on all browsers is extremely crucial. That also includes your browsers on native devices like desktop, laptop, tablets or mobile phones. Sanitizing user input. Now this is something that goes without saying from security perspective that we need to make sure that all the data that is coming into our, our servers from the UI needs to be properly sanitized, checked, validated to avoid any kind of malicious or you know attacks or also called as SQL injections, right? So sanitize user input wherever is required, strip the data, check for special characters, invalid characters, uh, stop the data even before it enters to the server. Using HTTPS. Now this is something that I'm sure every enterprise already has inbuilt, but for folks who are developing their own uh, projects or websites, make sure that you don't use HTTP because HTTPS will encrypt the data. HTTP will not. Both are the ways to transfer data. The both are the standard for transferring the data on the internet, but HTTPS is more secure because it will encrypt the data, making it more difficult for attackers to intercept or steal any in sensitive or critical information. So these are the top 10 best practices I can suggest you for from, from front end development perspective. I'm sure that you will have some more to share with us. Please do let us know in the comment section. We are eager to learn from you. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. I hope you're learning from this series. Keep learning, keep growing. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.